I'm Tristy and in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own wireframes really quickly and easily using pre-existing templates that just make it as easy as doing drag and drop. I've got uh, Adobe Illustrator open over here. I've got the document open that I used um, as part of the 30 day meme stack Honolulu challenge. Um, so that some of these wireframes may be familiar to if you've gone through that challenge with me. So how do you actually make your own set of these? It's actually really, really easy. So when, when you've got an idea for an app or a web app, generally uh, it's just kind of some scribbles on paper or on a whiteboard um, if you're sort of sitting around with a few people and kind of um, brainstorming some ideas. Um, once you've got sort of an idea of how you want things to work and you've got a little bit of a, an idea of at least, you know, um, the types of views you might need or the type of patterns or design patterns that you want to use, um, then we move into wireframes and then and sort of detail out exactly what um, should kind of go on each of these um, these views. And sometimes the wireframes start off uh, pretty high level, they're not, they may not have much detail, um, but the idea is you sort of want to work on them. Um, and the more detailed your wireframes are, um, you know, lets you sort of get some user interaction and validation before you even start to develop your app. And it also makes it easier if you've got separate teams who are working on design versus development versus testing and so on you can make that process to communicate a little bit easier and um, definitely it's easier to develop something if you've got wireframes to work off. All right, so I've done the sort of preamble. How do we get started? So what I'm going to show you is a really quick and easy way if you're using Bootstrap um, to, uh, to just grab some vector icons and, and graphics. And there's a vector UI kit over here for Bootstrap 3 um, at bootstrapuikit.com. It's a pretty pretty cool set of uh, vector UIs which then you can use so Devil Illustrator, PDF and sketch files as well. So um, whatever you, you're sort of using to um, to create your wireframes. So I'm just going to jump back to Illustrator. So once you've actually downloaded um, the file and you open up the Adobe Illustrator kit, you're going to get something that looks like this. So heaps of different types of vectors that you can then use to build and create and form your wireframe. So we've got icons um, at the very start here. I'm going to make this bigger so you can actually see what's going on. Um, so we've got icons, um, some control panel layouts, um, got different types of headers, got messages, um, drop downs, paging, um, got buttons, navigations, and panels, um, there's uh, lists, examples of lists, examples of you know, larger lists, <laughs> search bars, uh, forms, um, uh, examples of chat type layouts um, and we've got up here we've got messages um, sort of more more forms with radio buttons um, this should look fairly familiar so some more sort of layouts so there's lots of different bits and pieces um, and you can sort of take any of these items um, and then drop them straight into wireframes so for example if I jump back to, um, to App Makers here, if there's something that I wanted to change or add or, or sort of move around, go to Bootstrap, finding the thing that I want. Um, say, for example, I wanted to include this little one here. So just grab that, copy, um, and I can just paste that in somewhere if there's somewhere that I think would make sense for that to go. I don't know if there's anywhere particular where, that I'd want to drop that in, but say, for example, there's a little icon that I wanted to put on the button instead of save and close. So I can I'll just make that bigger so you can see what I'm doing. So I can just take that and instead of save and close, I put a little icon in the end there instead. For example, if that's what I wanted to do. Um, so there's you know, there's definitely lots and lots of different ways um, that you can use um, the different types of vector graphics that are available, um, and you can sort of change things up to make it look and feel however you 
um, you need to for for your app that you're creating and you know ideally it makes it easy for you to both get your ideas down um, so that you know, you're comfortable with how your app is going to work um, and also to help you um, sort of communicate your ideas onto um, anyone else that you're working with to, tr to try and bring everything together. Um, so I hope that helped. Um, I'd love to hear, sort of hear about um, what kind of tools you use to create your wireframes. Um, any tips and suggestions you have or any questions you have for me, um, let me know um, either on the bossable.com website or, or send me through a message. So, um, so that's it for this video. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out bossable.com for more details. And I'll see you again soon.